You've already seen the title. This is 10 fun facts you didn't know about Rec Room. Each one of these are gonna get like increasingly less known as the video progresses. Instead of having the profile in the watch with like your name being able to change here, there's a computer with the same exact stuff. Same with your name being changed, but since this is older, I can, it doesn't actually work. Did you know that for a short amount of time, the how-to record videos were played on this computer? So you didn't even need to go onto YouTube to see the, the new videos. Did you know that if you go over here in the rec center and then teleport right here and like phase your head through the wall, these trophies display info on like championships, the VR World Championships event. Here's the Shield Soccer Champions. Right over here in the rec center, there's actually two cameras. One of them's video and one of them's GIF. Streamer cam before the streamer cam. So here's his examples. So this is the GIF camera. And so, for example, if you put this in Discord, it would come out as a GIF. So it would just play even if you didn't press like a play button. And then for video, and I think this one's much better quality. This one can go for a minute and this one can go for 30 seconds. So this is the first ever build of Rec Room. And in this version of the game, there was no dorm room at all. So all you had was the changing room. This is the changing room. And as you can see right now, I'm in like a dev outfit, but this is all the clothes you, you would get. The watch was like, it's not really a watch, because back then, the concept of looking at your watch and a screen showing up didn't exist yet, so you could literally just take off your watch if you wanted to. We wear two of them, and they're really far away from your actual where they are nowadays. The way to actually open up your watch was clicking Y or B. Only a couple people have seen this. This is disc golf, but realistic. So this is like beta disc golf. Not many people have actually seen this as it's like, it's it's a beta disc golf, so I mean, why would people have seen this? It looks sick though, so I mean, kind of wish they kept it. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as the, we, the one we have today, but it's it's a bit different. I think the only thing different is the, like trees and stuff. Someone should import this in the normal area. Like this just looks like real life. So this is, this is, I think, the first ever Maker event, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the, I think, December 2016, and this is what the Maker Pen looked like before it's the one we know today. This Maker Pen only had one color, and it was this color, and I mean, it looks like really weird and stuff. So if you play uh, Rec Room on VR, you'll know what I'm talking about, but when you drop stuff, you normally click like B or Y to drop it. But in this version, if you press B or Y, it's the teleport button. So to drop your maker pen or whatever locked object you have, you have to click down on the thumbstick. So before soccer was a thing, uh, they had shield soccer. So instead of like hitting it with your hand or with teleporting like that, you would actually hit it with a shield. As you can see right here, it says Shield Soccer Lobby, and then this is drawing of it. So I have a randomized out for this. This is not a good look for 2016R. Wow, 2016R just got a lot better. Reckon did a collaboration with Raw Data, the video game. Not many people know of it right now. Most people know it because of Reckon. But throughout December 16th to the 20th, you'd be able to go into the rec center and get the raw data outfit, which is the one of the like most rarest outfits to exist. Here's the rec center at this point, which has the Saja swords. So this is what they look like in the like actual game. And this poster is plastered everywhere around the rec center. This music that you've been hearing in the background in sections where there aren't like music in game, is an unreleased version of the 3D charades music, which I'll leave a link to the actual original one in the description if you want to listen to the whole thing.